All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I guess right now I have to go shovel a sidewalk, which doesn't sound very fun. Um, if I can find a shovel, I never know what my sisters do with the shovels or actually anything. My sisters use something and it's gone like forever. <sighs> oh well. Oh, there's a shovel. Okay. Yep. Time lapse time. It's nothing pretty, but it's good enough to walk on. Um, I would get it better, but everything that's under the snow is ice. So I'm about to go show you how I personally like to shovel snow. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Okay, so I personally choose snow shoveling with this bad boy right there. Just drop it on the ground and off you go. Drop wherever you want to. We'll just start shoveling, blading, I should say. Okay, so here's how you shovel snow with the blade. You drop it down clear to the ground and then you drive down the driveway and it takes all the snow with it <laughs> that is a lot easier than manual labor I sound lazy you're probably right but yeah, it's... See? Lots of snow. Just pushes it over to the side. And when you start to get in a lot of snow back there, drive off the road. And lift up the blade. And then just go back right to where you were. And then once you get there, you drop the blade flat back down, just like so. And if we can, oh, we're slipping. And, oh baby, I'm turning, but we're not turning. And then you just start right back where you were. It's times like this where I wish this tractor had a decent windshield wiper. You can't. It doesn't look too bad through the camera, but it is not ideal. See, look at that nice path for everybody to drive. Good morning, guys. So right now I'm just going out back to the barn because my dad's got like a little piece of wood that's like probably eight by 10-ish or six by eight-ish. And he's gonna put our brand on it, so maybe we can get that looking kind of cool. Where should we do it? Anywhere? Hopefully that's square.
think that piece of wood looks good. Um, I actually think I lied to you guys. It was more like 8-ish by 12-ish. Or 10-ish by 12-ish. But, going to feed some cows right now. Um, my dad's in the back hill behind me. I don't know if you can see him. But, he says, well actually first he's got to put some air in the front driver's side tire because that thing goes flat a lot for some reason. And then he's going to go play in the back. He didn't tell me what he was going to be doing, so I guess me and you will find out what playing means. So we just feed, most days we feed our cows one bell, but sometimes when it's like extra cold or if we just feel like we need to feed two, then we will, but generally we'll feed one. So these cows are funny. When they see this tractor, they know that it's time for lunch. Look, they're all looking at me. And then as you drive by, they'll try to take a bite out. And then you just have to drive really slow. And it's annoying. Now the game is, you try to beat them to the hay bale, so you can get all the net wrap cut off before they're all there. Because when they're all there, they're, they don't want to move because they're all hungry. See, look at this. I've already got the net cut off, but, like, you can't get in. See? <laughs> and then when you do, they don't really feel like moving. See, look, usually I can't reach out and scratch them on the head like that. But when they're hungry, it's a different story. Look, I never can do that. Sometimes feeding cows in the winter time can be kind of lame, but the only reason for that is because like when you cut the, I don't know if you can see this. When you cut the wrap off, all the, it snows on top of the hay bales and then it freezes. And the wrap gets stuck to the hay bales. But other than that, I don't mind it. Baby cow. That was good timing. I just looked down and the gas light came on. So we are at the pump. I need to find a stick or something so I don't have to stand here and hold it the whole time it's filling up. Channel locks work too. Did it come off the bead? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think I just got it though. So I guess the tire came off the bead. So if some of you were wondering, there are times when we find a stick like that and start filling up a tractor or backhoe or something and then we leave and do something else we'll hear diesel fuel start falling on the ground and we'll know it's full but hopefully we'll limit those that hasn't happened very much
And we're done. Oh, looks like the back tire's a little low too. <laughs> That's the story of our lives, honestly. We'll go, we'll just go find something to run over, pop a, pop a tire, poke a hole in it. Okay, we are back in the tractor because my dad wants to build some braces for a fence out of metal. And so he's gonna drag him in here. And we have a plasma torch in that trailer right there behind the green tractor. So yeah, we're gonna go get some of those. Really, if we really wanted to, we could just go move them by hand. But I guess we're too lazy for that. Something like that. That's a brace. So he wants to build them out of metal, I guess. So that's what we're doing right now. Just gonna go back up and hook up with a chain. Come along for the ride. I actually don't think we could have done this by ourselves because they're so big and heavy anyway. And they're all frozen to each other and frozen to the ground. I actually do think we need the tractor. So we can do it in the summer, but I don't think we could right now. It's also hard to get the chain to stay on these pipes. <laughs> so this is not a small tractor and we're just spinning out. They're so frozen to the ground. Try one more time. There they go. Yeah, I think I lied to you guys. We could not have done that by ourselves. All right, guys, that'll probably be about the end of this video. But thanks for watching. If you would, like, comment. I like reading your comments, so comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.